Enthusiastic introduction, Nick here, ready to show you a brand new build with the Cadex Vista. This is a three inch ripper dipster skipper. You're gonna love this thing, check it out. So here's a closer look at this new three inch Cadex Vista build that I put together. Uh, I'll put a link down below for where I got the idea for this on rotor builds. I was struggling, I, I had been trying to find a way to put together a lightweight, fast, three inch build with a Cadex Vista because the Vista is, you know, it's quite heavy relative to your standard VTX. And um, I'm going to walk through some of the mistakes I had made initially and how I ended up with this frame. So to start, I was running the Twig XL with their custom Cadex Vista canopy. And um, this thing is truly a tank. Uh, it's so so thick so strong there's protection all around you have standoffs on the inside for the flight controller and then standoffs on the outside for the canopy so there's two layers of protection the problem with this twig xl build with the vista is that it was just too heavy it ended up being about 25 25 grams heavier than this guy right here the twig xl is great if you're just using the standard canopy with a standard vtx and a nano camera with the Cadex Vista, I would say you want to go to up to the four inch twig, twig mutant, I think it's called. But when you're running it on three, three inch, it's, this thing is just too heavy. My next plan was to head on to Thingiverse and I found this canopy here, which is, uh, I'll put a link to this down below. It's super lightweight, kind of the opposite of the twig. Um, very lightweight and it works with any normal whoop board frame. This is the Dave C FPV design here on Thingiverse as well. The issue with this setup was that the Vista unit is so exposed, there is no protection. You know, the standoffs, these are the whoop board standoffs and the Vista is just right here. So in, in a crash, I don't think it would survive too many crashes. So I ended up on rotor builds and I found this design and it uses a couple beta FPV parts this is their mini camera canopy version 3. It works with a variety of different parts, but it does fit the Cadex Vista. The Vista screws in on the inside of the canopy, and it also fits the Cadex Vista camera up here. It's not designed, it's not perfectly designed for it, but it does work. And then this frame, this is a really neat carbon frame. I don't know if you can see the design here, but the frame is from another beta FPV quad. These two together, work fairly well now the problem is they're not actually designed for one another which means um this front standoff here on the canopy it sticks out the same amount as this as the side standoffs but on the frame the frame actually doesn't stick out enough to evenly match up with the canopy so i don't know if you can see probably can't but the the screw comes up at a little bit of an angle the screw is not sticking out as much on the bottom as it is on the top so it's not a perfect fit but if you have a this is an m20 uh, m2 20 millimeter screw if you have a 20 millimeter screw coming up it will work i just put a little bolt at the top um and it worked out um, and it feels pretty sturdy i had initially built this with the typical plastic screws plastic standoffs i took a hard crash and this whole thing ripped in half the canopy was fine, the frame was fine, but all the plastic standoffs and screws broke. So I would highly recommend going with metal parts for this. Going over the hardware here, um, these are the Zing 1404 4500 KV motors. These are really great. I'll put some uh, put some PIDs up. Oh, sorry, 40, 4600. I'll uh, put some PIDs up on the screen if you're curious what the PIDs are for this. Pretty straightforward PIDs and rates. These are the three by three by three uh gem fan props and axi left hand polarized because this is a lighter antenna than that the cadex comes with you have to get the left hand polarized if you want to use it with the dji system for any nebula users you can definitely put a nebula camera in here you just need to get a 14 to 19 mil adapter that a lot of the fpv cameras come with to fit because this is a 19 millimeter camera mount this camera bumper is normally normally these are black uh, but i figured hey why didn't i like get a cool print made of one of these so i just i had race day quads print a custom one for me so 
This is just the standard TPU Vista protector. Um, and I'll put a link to the normal one below and then you can have any, any, any 3D print place can print a custom custom colors for you. And then uh, the board here, there's the Beta FPV 20 amp all-in-one version three. You have to use the version three if you wanna run a Vista unit because it comes with the proper amount of UARTs. This is my favorite battery. Uh, these motors do run two to four S. Um, 3S is more than enough punch for me. I like the 553S. Uh, if you want to run it on 4S, the 554S is also a good option, but it's it's overkill as far as I'm concerned. It's it's so fast, and if you're doing acro, I don't really see the point, but hey, if you want that speed, you can definitely go for that. Uh, coming up on this channel, I'm messing around with some long range options for this quad here. Um, so I've got some lithium ion pack and then also just a normal a very large 3s lipo that i'll be experimenting with uh, probably with some different props as well messing with some long range some crossfire stuff like that and that's about it i will leave you with some flight footage thanks for watching